Welcome to Rock and Roll Play, a show about music, gaming, and the creative medium called role playing. I'm your host, The Human Floyd, and with me tonight are Dinah. That's night. And Tag, also known as Varlin. For a long time in gaming, there has been this terrible controversy between art and video games and people wanting to say video games are an art form and, and that really ruffling a lot of feathers. You always see people with uh, theme songs for their characters. Yes. Especially on character profiles and stuff. And Knight, you actually have kind of taken that a step further. I, I have. The reason why I did this is just because I like to make music, period, right? It's like kind of like oxygen, right? You need music. Yeah. I would go and I would read over their backstory, right? To kind of get a feel like, who is this person? Like, what motivates them? And how could I get the same motivation through sound? Thinking in your head what kind of feelings that evokes, right? And you can almost create a whole movie in your head just through the you know the beat and the tempo and just everything all the instruments so um that's kind of what i did with the you know the character themes oh yeah pro boards yeah i just didn't know them and i was too shy to meet them they played D D in like this corner hallway in high school and i would like <laughs> sneak past and just like spare glances at them like, oh they're playing D D. I i wish i could oh. talk to them they're <laughs> so cool oh, they're so cool look at those kids <laughs> casting fireballs <laughs> playing D D is the coolest thing totally <laughs> And then other times you find the song and that feeling and you can just listen to it for days and days. Have you been You just start typing. You sink into that zone. And I think every form of art has that zone. For me this connection was really easy to make and I ended up basing sort of the secretive backstory for my guild on the album Dead Root Stirring. I mean, I would even go as far as to like take a single lyric from the song and base an entire like two month roleplay plot on it. Mm. <laughs> you know? That's cool though. No, no. Amped Guard is like ghetto. SCA. Amped Guard <laughs> is SCA on meth, because a lot of them are on meth. <laughs> Not even joking. I would actually want to see this. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty life. entertaining, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> My mom told me about how she was role-playing in this game, World of Warcraft, and I was like, Ugh, Mom, no! No, don't play World of Warcraft! All the cool kids are LARPing with meth heads. Like, don't play WoW. <laughs> <laughs> My interest was always in, how real can we make this? Because that's when you start to see really interesting parallels to reality. Ravenloft was a D&D &D setting uh, built around gothic horror. And it featured a number of dark, mist-shrouded lands, all trapped in a special demiplane. So I used a lot of music over the course of the story. Uh, most of it pulled from just all kinds of sources, a lot of soundtracks. You know, you want to use instrumental music, you don't want to use things that are really distracting, you want to use things that are mood enhancing. Um, and at the end of everything, they found themselves wandering an alien landscape. And uh, I put this song on, and I started to describe it, and you could just feel how focused everyone was in the room, like they, they felt like they were there. I love using music in roleplay for that reason and in gaming because it just sort of opens you up and it gets you in a place where you can express.
it does have a special place for me just because that's how I, I met my wife. Aww. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> but. <laughs> 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 has the potential to become the next great art media. So open source, anyone can do it. You can do it on any medium. You can pick it up with no experience whatsoever. And it's an incredible way to meet people from different countries, different cultures. Welcome to Rock and Roll Play.